Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nicole and today I'm going to explain to you one of my favorite tricks and that's like a little cute turn. So you're gonna go down and shoo, boom. You can also do it from the back and shoo, boom. All right, I'm gonna, don't stress if you're a beginner, you're like, okay, skip because I'm going to give you also easy version where it's just half of the turn, but of course, if you're a little bit more advanced or you wanna challenge yourself, you can turn as many times as you want. The technique is always the same. So, let's begin. So, this turn is on your bent knees. Um, and the first thing that you have to know is that you have to choose the leg that you're turning on, duh. So in my case, I turn on my right leg, meaning, right leg is planted in the ground she is always on my foot yes so i'm never taking this leg off that's one number two you have to um so i'm turning on my right leg i'm going to turn towards the right side so since i'm turning towards the right side you have to give yourself momentum and you're doing it through grabbing the air on the left side and then as you're gonna turn you're gonna push yes that brings me to point number three. Since I'm turning on my right leg, my left leg is going to be dragged, okay? So when I decide to turn, I'm going to put, either way, you can put your leg on your knee, or you can just kind of open it and then drag your big toe and draw circles. You know what it makes me think of this turn? It makes me think of this thing that we use at school to draw perfect circles. I don't know what you call it, but I'm pretty sure you know what it means. So one is the needle, one leg, this is your needle, and other one is circulating around it. So that's the other leg. You know what I mean? Okay, so now you know the basis. One leg is planted in the ground, take momentum to turn and let this leg be dragged that's three points the fourth one is your core so as you're turning what you want to do you want to squeeze your abs and then you want to pull yourself up so when you're turning don't look down because that will make you fall try to elongate yourself and think about going up instead of going to the right or going in circles you know what i mean that's also like a rule for pirouettes but let me talk about what we're doing right now pirouettes will come in other tutorial so okay we have four points of reference let's turn we are going to start from a half turn okay and the last thing that I have to add is what I do. So as I bring my hands to the side and I'm about to turn, I'm going to bring my right arm up, left one goes to the front. So it's boom and tick and cha. You get me? Okay, like I promised, let's start easy. Let's just do half of the turn. So you're here, take a momentum and turn. Boom. Now let's do it from the back to the front. Take a momentum and turn. Boom. As you can see, oh my God, it's not very comfortable to sit like this. As you can see, when I finish the turn, I, so I drag my leg. When I'm done, I'm going to bring my knee in, bring my foot up and relax. So then from here, you're ready either way to stand up or do other moves, okay? So again, we are on our bent knees. Take a momentum. Let's do just half and boom and relax and come back open up take a momentum and boom and relax so um what i see a lot of times in my classes when i do it with my girls is that they keep on forgetting and they want to bring their knee down or they're trying to like turn on their i don't know put their knees down or like take their leg off the ground so remember what i just told you this leg is always staying up so you never put your knee down yes and then what you can also start off is just kind of bringing this knee in and in okay and then do bigger turn in yes oh my god let me stand up for a second ah! okay when the half turn worked the next step would be trying the full turn don't panic it's exactly the same thing but you just have to take more momentum which brings me by the way to one more uh, point that i wanted to mention when you do just half of the turn, you don't need a lot of strength to turn. It's just a little bit. Boom. Ta-da-da. And boom. 
ta -da -da. But when you're about to turn once or maybe even twice, you actually really have to prepare and turn and relax, all right? And again, when you go for especially the one like full turn, squeeze your abs and bring that arm up because it actually helps you to elongate your body and be in a correct position, yes? You go boom, tick, cha. And also, one more thing that I actually noticed, when I go full turn, I bring my body a little bit up. See what I do? And boom. So I also go a little bit up, not too much, but a little bit because again, it creates, um, it makes me stand in a good position. So yeah, I think that explains it enough. If I ever think of some extra tips that I want to give you regarding this move, I'm probably just going to make like an update tutorial. But for now, I'm going to leave you with it. I think I gave you all the tips that I had in mind. So yeah, enjoy, you guys. Don't forget to look cute. Squeeze that core. Leave that leg on the ground. And spin like a queen. Mm, if you have any feedback, um, good or bad, please leave your comments down below if you have any requests. Um, and don't forget, of course, about my online classes that I have on my website, you guys. Um, they're available for you with 50% discount with a discount code in the description. And if you're ever in Amsterdam, you know what to do. Don't be shy. Come through. Dance with me. Join one of my classes. Come say hi. Because nothing will replace the real-life classes. And for now, I'm just going to let you go. Thank you so much for spending your time with me and for watching my videos and supporting. Lots of love. And I'll see you next time. Bye.